Minecraft tonight to be Bob Fox here with your one-stop shop for all your Minecraft Mojang and stuff that happened this week within our community. While also giving away some stuff like $50 for Jinx.com this week. Yay! But first up, let's get right into all your Minecraft news that happened this week. We have Snapshot 37A. Now, there's a lot of stuff that was added, but I covered all of it in the Snapshot dedicated video. Lots of things were added like Wither Skeletons, also a way to actually resurrect the Wither boss. Not to mention a lot of flat world options now, so you can create a whole world out of whatever material that you want. There's texture changes, fishing rod and carrot changes, all that in your Snapshot video. Be sure to check it out at the end of the show. There's also Pumpkin Pie that was added, but you can expect more food as well, probably in the next Snapshot. Jeb says that the only thing you can see still adding is Mutton and Calamari. It's a trap! Oh, not that kind of calamari. Okay. So if you're a culinary chef, you can probably give them some more ideas because we all know Minecraft is all about the food. Next up, Two Player Productions is finishing up the Minecraft documentary and they need some amazing builds. Now, this is already closed so you can't submit anymore, but they're looking for amazing builds. If you want to see some of the ones that were submitted, there is a Reddit post that has all of them. So basically, they went through to kind of find some stuff that they could get footage of and represent Minecraft in the documentary. Now onward though to one of the most important things in the Minecraft community, Minecon. And if you were lucky enough to buy my con tickets in the three hours that they were available Congratulations. Now, a lot of Americans were having trouble trying to buy Minecon tickets because of the company Moneybookers, which is handling all the Minecon transactions. But have no fear, there were 1,500 people that were able to get tickets, but there will be more waves of tickets that are going to be sold. Now, no one can blame you for stressing out and panicking about not being able to get a Minecon ticket, especially when the main website says, look back here as they might release more. That's not very promising. Now, don't worry because they will, and this is actually going to be released in waves. The best way to follow and find out when these waves of releases will happen is follow at Molestam on Twitter. He's the main guy handling all these website transactions and everything else, so he gives you a pretty good heads up when you can expect them. Now that's pretty much it for all your Minecon news. Not really much Mojang news going on this week besides more people traveling, but time is for you guys, the community. If you want to submit anything, be sure to hit up my Twitter and Facebook and I'll check them out all throughout the week. Now first up, time to support you guys making awesome videos. This one is exactly how the world ends. When Enderman get involved with portal turrets. They pretty much start working together and become an unstoppable force. Good thing it's a short video though, cause who knows how this might end. Next up, this is a parody and I have hundreds of them that are sent to me every week and I check them out. This one really stood out. It's a parody of Train Song called Drive By. And of course it's called Mind By, but excellent lyrics, great singing, overall well produced. Also by an unknown Minecrafter who's doing YouTube videos, so be sure to check him out and show support. He's also open to new parody and lyric ideas, so if there's a specific song you think you want him to sing, have at it. You're a new Next up, one of my favorite things to show off, and it's the most amazing stuff that you guys are building within the community, and it's all shareable, so you can download it and put it in your own world. This segment is called, HOLY, did you see that in Minecraft? Those all just went behind the TV. You didn't even see most of them. See, I'm fine throwing just one. That took 74 episodes to finally get just right. But let's get right into your downloads now. First one up here is a whaling town, which is nicely laid out, you know, just like a real whaling town. So if you like role playing, bam, there you go, put it on a server. But now to the most important mind blowing project ever. Team Fortress 2 in Minecraft, no mods, no plugins. I even played this, it's on this channel right here. Normally I put it on my gaming channel, but nope, it's going right here. This has all your lovable dealers of death, all eight unique classes. Seth Bling and Hypixel spent an entire month on this amazing project doing a ton of the maps and there's several rounds in each game. I have two videos that I posted up each time and I play with 18 other well-known Minecrafters that you guys probably will recognize. So much fun, be sure to download it and just Take on your friends. Next one here is Babylon 5 and Omega Destroyer. This thing even includes a tutorial on how they went about building it because they even have decks and layers all pretty much to scale. And if you don't want to play with your friends and you're a solo kind of guy who wants to take on the world, 
then take on this. This is a creeper boss battle game all about knocking out every light and that pretty much ends the wave and then you get a next wave of challenges with creepers and poison and all kinds of things that make your life hell. So enjoy that. Yow! So that is a lot to check out. Be sure to have fun with all those downloads. Now, next up is your mod for this week. What have you guys been up to? This is probably the coolest one that I've seen in a long time. This is an in-game mod maker called Layman's Mod. Overall, the big picture is that it makes modding very simple and basic. You have abilities to change each individual item within the game in several categories. It simply gives you a whole new tab to play with and then you click new mod. Then from there, you can edit everything from ores to ore generation percentages all the way up to images alone and recipes now not only that also under that has tons of subcategories so it gets very specific if you want to get a little bit past the basic stage so if you've never made a mod before this is a great way to get your feet wet into the game and start modding all right now what have you texture pack artists been up to well this one is called the gi texture pack and it's a little bit indecisive not gonna lie about what theme it actually wants to go for it just came out with a 128 but it also has your other resolution as well if you want to go for that now the armor looks like it just came straight out of an RPG game but some of the images and icons alone look a little bit too much like a PNG image and when I say an indecisive theme you kind of have like an RPG theme going on here and then you have a jukebox that looks like a DJ and a subwoofer so meh. some textures are also almost too sharp but the iron doors look outstanding and so does the wood and they also have to include the Sun and the moon these things look outstanding in the nighttime speaking of weather and environment and things look Looking outstanding. Is that a good segue? Your seed of the week! Now there seems to be a huge influx of seeds that involve you in jungle biome and then going to a desert biome that has a village right there and then a pyramid usually close by as well. This one takes it to the next level though. This one has a village and then a pyramid dab in the middle, just like it's taken over the joint, right there. Not only that, but it also has four biomes right close by that you can start harassing. But one of the best part is that there's plenty of caves around this seed, and it's great to explore because you find really cool things like this, which is just a tree underground for whatever reason. It does what it wants. There's also a ravine around the area too, but you have to dig it out. But overall, brilliant to explore this giant area. Awesome beaches, and the jungle is just massive. All right, guys, before I get to the contest, this week for all you guys wanting jinx gear time for your skins this week and we gotta celebrate a mod eight years in the making half-life black mesa remaking half-life one we gotta show off nothing but half-life skins your first one up here is of course the one and only gordon freeman and then we have to do a steve freeman that works out right but then there's several combined soldiers, including an elite one. And you can't have them without the Half-Life 2 Metro Cop, all right? And finally, to top it all off, Dr. Wallace Breen. Okay, that was a lot of skins. More than normal. Well-deserved, though. But now it's time to give something away to you guys, and that is two $25 gift codes for Jinx.com. Buy Minecraft gear, buy another game's gear. Who cares? Buy what you want. But in order to win, comment below and be a subscriber. Comment about whatever you want. If you need something to comment on, though, try the Creeper Bar question this week. Last year at Minecon 2012, we had exclusive items. It was a Minecon cape, a little red thing with a Creeper face. What do you think this year's Minecon item should be? Do you think it should be an in-game item, maybe something actually personal that gets sent to your house, or do you think it should be a hat? Everybody likes hat for us, right? Now they have also talked about having a cape system so you can switch out capes as well, so don't rule that out just yet if you're wondering. But comment below and tell me what you guys think. Alright guys, if you want to submit anything, be sure to send it to my Twitter, twitter.com slash bebopbox, or the Facebook, facebook.com slash thebebopbox. We'll have a little conversation. I respond to you guys on Twitter. I will also see you next week for the Minecraft Monday show. Be sure to check out that snapshot video for all your information and the Vox of Gaming show every Tuesday to Friday. All kinds of gaming information. You guys are loving that show and I am glad. That's it for me, guys. I am Bebop Vox. Happy Minecrafting and diamonds to you. Ah, that cut my neck. <laughs>